Hello. I wanted to take a moment to walk through something that was recently brought up in a few, uh, I guess, news articles out there. Trend Micro research team had uh, found some malware that had been uh, propagated using a technique of a mouse over in PowerPoint. So I'm sure this technique is not new by any means, um, but uh, I didn't see any sort of specific uh, specifics to how you would uh, potentially carry out this uh, malicious execution with PowerPoint. So I just wanted to go through it um, and show you how easy it is to execute some code. So what I have over here is on the left uh, of the screen, uh, I have the PowerPoint slide that I'm gonna modify. And then over to the right, I'm, I am uh, using Empire as uh, my uh, malicious uh, C2 um, machine and also to generate the payload that I'm going to drop uh, into this uh, PowerPoint slide. So first of all, of course, you know, uh, you would craft some type of creative PowerPoint slide that would entice the, the user to open it up. For this uh, case, I'm just going to create a malicious link here. I'm just going to highlight it. I'm going to go up to insert and then I'm going to go to actions. And if you'll notice right here in our mouse over actions, you have mouse click and mouse over actions, we can run a program. Well, um, if you spend any time doing anything, any sort of penetration testing or malicious uh, type of activity, then that looks pretty interesting to you. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, stager command that I've created with Empire. You could do any number of things with this. Um, I just use this as an example because it's easy, easy to show um, how a PowerShell command can be ran and, and given um, access to a system. So I will, I'm going to copy over, I've got my uh, PowerShell command in another window. So I'm just going to copy and paste that into here. All right, so I've done that. And this is uh, encoded in base 64, so it's going to look like a bunch of garbly goop, uh, but uh, that's in there. So then I'm going to save that, hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my presentation in presenter mode so that I can hover over it and see what happens. Okay, now when I've hovered over this on one of my other screens here, I'll bring it over here, you can notice that uh, Office, and this is Office 2016, it does tell you and warn you that this is uh, potentially malicious activity. Uh, uh, and this is good. Um, this is, I guess, what you would consider is the current uh, mitigation for this threat uh, by Microsoft. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people will um, commonly, if they think they want access to something, they'll just click enable or, or whatever they need to do to, to get by and execute whatever you have. So I'm just going to click enable as a user probably would. Okay, you could quickly see the uh, the screen sort of popped up um, and went away. Um, and so now I'm just going to escape out of this full screen mode here. All right, and we will notice that on my uh, Empire um, system, Empire C2 system, I have gotten a remote connection from the system that um, executed the link. So. That is an example of how a PowerShell can be ran to provide remote access into the box from a PowerPoint presentation um, by using a mouse over event. Uh, of course, you could use a mouse click event as well um, to do this. Um, in this case, no macros are required, uh, just common uh, sort of link clicking activity. So uh, that's all I've got for today. Thanks, have a great day, bye.